like a boss. Alright ladies, this is Alex, your toxic dating coach, and today we're going to be talking about how to hold a man's interest through sending mixed signals. Ladies, this is actually one of the most, one of the easiest things you could do to improve your dating life, to keep a guy interested so that he doesn't see you boring. And it's pretty easy. And this is something that I actually, an ex of mine, I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to say who it is, all right? But whenever I date a woman who really loves me and I don't love her back and I don't tell her, <laughs> right? Um... <laughs> <laughs> right um whenever that happens um it's usually because she's too one-dimensional right my oh man my hands are mad crusty it's usually because she's too one-dimensional she's too girly too nice too much of a bitch maybe but it's too one-dimensional she doesn't send mixed signals there's nothing of interest in that if i'm being very honest with you so we're going to talk about how to hold his attention right so that he can fall in love with you over time. And, and if you apply this and the guy doesn't like you, rest assured you had nothing to do with it. He just wasn't into you, okay? So we're gonna talk about one, two, three, four, five ways to send mixed signals to hold a guy's interest through, all right? So let's begin it. So look. First of all, getting a guy's attention isn't the hard part. Right? It's keeping his attention that's the hardest part. And the reason why is because you don't need much to hook, to get his attention. Anything can get your attention. A car accident can get your attention, right? But does it hold your attention? Now, if you're a small so like me, of course it will. I love watching. Whenever I see an ambulance and I'm in the car, I follow the ambulance. I follow all the, the, the fire trucks just to see what's going on, right? But what you gotta do, the key to all of this is to engage the person's imagination. Get them, you want them to embellish, embellish your image in their minds, right? You want them to exaggerate the way they see you in their minds. Because once they do that, you've already won. Once you've done that, every the hardest part of the game has already been achieved, right? So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you gotta start from the beginning, okay? Find a natural quality about you right so are you naturally a nice person me i'm naturally a nice person right i'm naturally somebody who's very loving and, and that's that's the truth contrary to how it looks like i'm actually a very loving person right i was a christian you know i i used to love people that i didn't even the fucking know you know but you gotta find something natural in your character and embellish that natural part of yourself maybe you're a nice person embellish it right but then add the opposite to it because every single person has a dark side and your dark side reflects the image that you put out into the world, right? It's a mirror image of, of what you put out. So if you're naturally a nice person, there is an asshole part of your personality that you don't show into the world. What we want to do is embrace that part in subtle ways, not in obvious ways because then it looks very, it looks fucking bipolar, okay? So you want to slowly hint at it. So if you're naturally a nice person, have a you know slightly evil smile to you that hints at something darker if you are a nice looking innocent girl have a slightly sexual hint to your character right we want to have a contrasting quality to our to ourselves right so so that's one thing find a part of yourself that's actually one that that that's a quality of, of who you are right so if you're naturally a nice person then go with the asshole, right? If you're naturally a, a considering person, have a inconsiderate side to your personality and slowly show it, okay? It could be through maybe your hints, hinting at, nah, I don't care about that kid, man. I don't care about giving to the poor. You know, like if you're really a nice person and people know that, and then you, they hear you say that, they're gonna say, oh, okay. All right, this is interesting, right? The next thing is to have contrasting qualities that go against your physical appearance, right? So the first one is to find a natural quality in you, one, a natural quality and, and contrast it. The next thing is your physical appearance. And so if you look innocent, if you have an innocent baby face like me, you know, then have an evilness to your personality. <laughs> <laughs> okay so if you look like somebody who is very rational who's very studious 
have any rational side to your personality. You imagine Mark Zuckerberg fucking being a party animal even to this day? You know what I'm saying? You're like, this motherfucker looks like a nerd, but he's a party animal. That's what I'm talking about. A contrasting quality to, to the way he looks. If you're a genius, let's just assume you're, you're a fucking smart person, look dumb, right? That's how Einstein looked, right? Um, what you wanna do is, these things can be advertised. You wanna advertise these things not in your words, but in your mannerisms, in your gestures. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a nice person, then giving this look to people from time to time lets them know that you're not too nice. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have a nice angel look, hey, don't fuck with me, <laughs> right? You, that kind of stuff makes people obsessed. That, that, a perfect example of that was Prince. Prince was a perfect example of contrasting qualities that, that he looked like a fucking feminine ass dude, but when he talked, he was very masculine. Right? But it's all in your mannerism. It's all in your mannerism. It cannot be too obvious. You cannot advertise it with your words. You can't say I'm an asshole. No, it, it, it has to, you, people have to sense, sense it subtly. The next thing is your gender roles, right? And so if you're a feminine woman, like I always say, embrace your slightly masculine side to your character. If you're a masculine guy, find a feminine side like Prince. Right? Having those things makes people intrigued. With me, I have a masculine side, but I also have a feminine side that's in the arts. It's in the meditation, right? All of those things, ladies, I'm telling you, I know I repeat myself sometimes, but it's for a reason. This is the key. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to give you a result and you, then you could go on about your ways. I'm not here to keep you. I'm trying to tell you what works so that then you could just move on and watch other videos well, don't do that, okay? I'm closing the channel, right? So your gender roles, right? Your gender roles is one of them, right? And because if you're, just, if you're just too fucking feminine, the guy's gonna get bored of you. A guy wants a girl who he can chill with. A guy wants a girl who has a little masculinity to her. So that means if you're super feminine, maybe you have a masculine side to your character. Maybe you dress masculine. Maybe you have a way of mannerism that's masculine. Maybe you sit down with your legs open, like, you know, with your jeans on, obviously, right? The next thing is physical heat and emotional blandness, right? So that means that when you're there, you show them a lot of love, right? But when you're not there, you're fucking cold. It could possibly be that you, when you spend time with him, you show him all the love, but when you're not with him, it's out of sight, out of mind. It could be that you have amazing sex and you love having sex with him, but then you leave afterwards. That kind of stuff offends people. And when you offend the guy, when you make the guy feel like, what's going on? Why doesn't she like me? Why isn't she physically warm with me? That's going to make him feel insecure. You get what I'm trying to say? Physical heat and emotional warmness and, em and emotional blandness creates a challenge. It makes the guy want to warm you up. It makes the guy want, want to see that happy side of you. So you could be sexual with him, but then when you're around him, you're a little cold. You know, you don't smile too much. You know, you gotta have a place where you're warm and a place where you're cold. It could be you're cold in person and warm over text or vice versa. But you gotta have that contrast. That kind of stuff creates obsession, people. That kind, it could be that one day when you're with them, you're physical, then the next day you want your distance. That kind of stuff frustrates, but creates obsession. And the last thing is reputation versus reality. Maybe you're known as a bitch. And it's good if you're known as a bitch. But when they meet you, you're not a bitch. Maybe they know me as a player, but when they meet me, I want a relationship with you, girl, and I'm not lying. I will never lie to you. <laughs> I will never do that to you. <laughs> right? Those kind of things, reputation versus reality, is a way to send a mixed signal. It's like when you meet a guy and you think he's an asshole, but then when you meet him, he's, he's fucking petting a goddamn rabbit, a little bunny. You're like, oh wow, he's not an asshole. He was petting a bunny when I saw him. Bitch, he's doing, he was doing that for the, for the effect. All of those things are contrasting qualities that makes guys fall in love with you. It creates an obsession and it holds your attention. It, it, it indicates that there's depth to your character. When you do this kind of stuff, you will stand out. If the person doesn't like you, if the person doesn't want a relationship, despite all of those things, all of those positive traits that you have, this guy's not for you. It is better on to move on, okay?
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your toxic dating coach. Um, follow me on Instagram for more videos, all right? I mean, to soothe my toxic ego. Um, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, go to Mindful Attraction 2.0 for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, and yeah, man, I'll see you guys later and stay toxic, my friends. Alright ladies, so this is the course that all of you guys have been asking me for and it's the Psychological Game of Attraction. This is pretty much the course that will make any man beg to want to commit with you. This is the course that I wish, I'll be honest with you, if I was a woman, this is the kind of course that I want because it, it, it's, it's a course that's specifically geared to help you understand how guys fall in love and how to do it in a systematic way that's almost predictable, right? So let me show you guys how the, this course is, is set up. By the way, there's a 30 day money back guaranteed on, on this course. So if you guys don't like it, you guys will get money back. Look, let me show you how it's done, right? So it's split up in a few sections. The first section is the introduction, obviously, uh, how, what to expect from it. After that is I'm giving you an understanding of the psychology, the, the psychology of attraction, right? Because you need to understand that dating is a game. You need to think strategically that there are certain laws of human nature that you cannot break that and just a few things of why people love each other. You know, it's very important to, to have a realistic expectation. After that, we go into the pre, we, we go into the three phases of every relationship. They, and they all go in these three phases and these phases could overlap each other at times, right? The first phase is the pre-honeymoon period. It is when you first know the person, or it is when you're becoming acquaintance with the guy, or it is when you guys broke up or and are back together, or it is when you guys had a long period of you guys not knowing each other, and now you guys wanna rekindle things. This works in any point of the relationship that, that you need to spark interest and curiosity. So these videos are specific for that, specific to create curiosity, how to get to know the guy the right way, using your non-verbals, how to create a powerful reputation. It's, it's, it's tr truly powerful stuff. After that is the honeymoon period. This honeymoon period is what and is how to get from curiosity to interest to creating a deep connection. So all of these videos are specifically geared to that. Not the 30, no, no, no. These specific videos are there for this phase. And this phase is any phase. You guys are having a good, happy, happy moment. You guys just got back together, and now you get, you feel that peak. You feel that that happiness that you guys felt. That's what this is, right? So these videos are there for that, creating a lonely fantasy, the preemptive breakup, the triangle of love, using words to control his man. It's, it's powerful stuff. After that is the post honeymoon period, and again, is 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 a short list of videos because these videos are there to solidify the connection that you already created. So if you're, if you just had an incredible moment or you just came out of a vacation with a guy and everything went well, you better use this phase because if you don't do this, he's going to become disenchanted. It's just how it is. These are very specific videos. And, and, and if you, and, and all you gotta do is just say, all right, where am I? I, I tell you where you guys are and you just watch the video. It's pretty much like being coached by me. You got some bonus videos, stop being nice, dealing with the inevitable, how to deal with breakup, how to deal with getting over a dude. This is a, the, the, the how, to, how to overcome manipulation, identifying manipulation, deterring manipulation, defending yourself against manipulation, what to do if you're already in a manipulative relationship and how to avoid them through detachment. It's pretty much an extremely succinct, and laser focused course not one waste of motion that's why i love it and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you guys don't like if you guys don't like it no questions asked people all right and if you guys want to support this channel this is how you support it and um i hope you guys enjoy this all right see you guys inside